So Tudor has just announced their new watches for 2024. I was completely wrong with my predictions, but I do feel like they've launched watches that we want. This is just going to be a quick overview video of what they've done, because tomorrow morning I've got a meeting with Tudor getting hands-on with the watches. So drop a comment down below on any questions you have, and I will address them tomorrow. So we're going to start off with the most punchy watch from Tudor. This is a £27,610 Black Bay 58 in solid 18 karat yellow gold. It is a standard Black Bay 58 with a couple of tweaks. Obviously, it's in gold. It's got a green dial, green bezel, but it also has an open case back and the T-Fit clasp. Doesn't have the Metas movement. But for 27,000 pounds, you'd expect it to have absolutely everything with it. One thing to note about this watch, which is different from their previous steel and gold watches, this watch is 100% gold. It is solid. At the start, I mentioned that Tudor is doing what we want it to do, and this is one of the watches that I'm referring to. We now have a Black Bay 58 GMT with a Coke bezel. This is a standard Black Bay 58 GMT, so it's a 39 millimeter case. There's a couple of changes and a few kind of nostalgic changes. The bezel insert, rather than being matte, they've called it a gloss insert, but in reality, it is only ever so slightly more glossy than the matte, but it is tapping back to the Bakelite bezel inserts of older watches. Previously, Tudor has been criticized for the thickness of their GMT watches. Tomorrow, we're gonna to get hands-on, as I've mentioned, so we will be able to check out the thickness of this watch. I'll go into that in more detail in the next video. It's 3,700 pounds for all of that beautifulness. Before I show you what I think is a highlight, but also technically the most boring watch of the release, this is a new watch for the ladies. I feel like that's very pigeonholed. It's being marketed as a ladies watch. This is the Claire de Rose. This is called the Claire de Rose. This is an old line from the 60s that has been revamped to be modernized. And it comes on a five link stainless steel beads of rice bracelet and a whole range of sizes, 26 millimeter, 30 millimeter, 24 millimeter. And it also has various dial configurations. Prices start from 2160. This isn't really my kind of watch, but I feel like as it's within the collection, I should just mention it. But now we're going to talk about what I think is the highlight of this release. The Coke GMT is obviously going to be potentially the, the most popular from the point of view of uh, collectors, perhaps. But I think as the most commercial release that Tudor's done this year, this is the new Black Bay. It is a completely monochrome watch. There is no red triangle. There are no little gilt accents on the dial. Everything is completely monochrome. And although this could be given a stamp of being boring, if people are gonna aim for one watch from Tudor, I feel like this is gonna be it. It's got a Meta certified movement. It's the full size Black Bay watch that's so gonna cater for a lot more people than the, the smaller Black Bay 58. And it also comes on a whole host of straps. We've got the five link bracelet, the three link bracelet, and a rubber strap as well. Just like the Burgundy update that Tudor did last year, where they changed the case slightly and changed the bezel slightly and had a Meta certified movement, they've done exactly that with this version of the watch. It's a more refined black bay. It isn't just a color change. We have a new movement, new bezel, well, new of last year. And it's got the updated case. The price of this is going to start from 3630 on the rubber bracelet. So guys, they are the new watches from Tudor for 2024. I'm going to be getting hands-on with the watches tomorrow, so drop your questions in the comments down below, and I'll address them as much as I can. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.